going to start going to start my story uh, when I was 15 years old I've been uh, put into a home for people with a family problem they were older guys than me and they were drinking alcohol they were taking drugs they had problem with the police many of them they went to jail and they put them there when they went out so very quickly I started myself to do all those things and then I started uh, wanting to try to do white magic occultism you know something I started with like a game with friends uh, we try to make mind reading or palm reading or card reading those kind of thing and I discovered that I had uh, a gift you know that I had revelations and I was fascinated because I saw that not everybody had that gift so I tr I started to explore it I wanted to see what kind to what extent I had it so I started to interest myself into the oriental mysticism I started to have kind of divination possibilities powers and to read into uh, people's mind to know when before they came what they were saying and I could see the aura a u r r a of people which is like the spirit so whatever the way they would be they would behave in front of me if I saw the the the, the aura I could see exactly who they were I could see also you know spirits uh, you call them maybe ghosts then little by little I wanted to to see what power I could get so I went uh, rapidly into uh, black magic uh, black magic is uh, something not very good it's when uh, you using some spiritual power to um, not for the benefit of people to make them problem maybe to curse them or to make them lose their job or that their wife or husband go away whatever and uh, you can uh, give them uh, maybe illness or kill them and I did some of uh, those things uh, one of them uh, she I watched her died in front of me uh, she bled to she bleed to death in front of me so I had you know I, I was happy to see that I had those power but I was not feeling very good you know I had very uh, difficult spiritual problems uh, I try to uh, suicide myself and then they put me uh, you know in a psychiatrist hospital for a while uh, I, ha I had a uh, NDE a near death experience which is uh, uh, you know when when you are going to die um, your yourself your spirit your soul is going out of your body and then you will uh, go to God of course your body will go to dust and so I lived those few those first minutes and I saw that I was not ready until that day I was not afraid of death I thought uh, um, on the contrary that uh, death would solve all my problems uh, I thought I have so many problems here of every kind you know inside I was getting paranoid and uh, so much anguish and I didn't I, I didn't have any motivation and uh, I was living to to die you know all, all my friends were dying around me and uh, I thought I would die before the age of 20 and I thought that all my problem would be solved and stopped at the moment when I died but when I, I made this experience I saw that it's it's not stopping and not only it's not stopping but I will not have to bear those uh, problems and those torment for just uh, 40 years or 60 years but for eternity so fortunately I went back in my body I didn't die and after that I tried to change my life and to make a better life I, I knew I was bad 
So I started to practice yoga and sport. I stopped all toxics, even cigarettes, even meat. And I tried to be a better person. I wanted to purify myself, my soul, my spirit from all the consequences of the thing I did. I thought I could like uh, became a new person, like uh, uh, re reborn myself into a new person and that all the things that I did before will have no consequences on who I was now because I, I thought I wanted to be a new person, a new creature. After six months of intensive practice, I had a revelation that if I can do anything to improve myself, try to be pure, to behave good with uh, other people, uh, to be uh, ascetic, to make, to uh, practice yoga, uh, anything I can do to be better, or if I'm the worst guy on in the on the on on, on earth, I am not getting nearer God of one inch. So, I realized that I couldn't do anything with my own strength to get near God. One day a friend of mine invited me in a Christian meeting. I hated Christians. So I said, of course, no, of course, no. But he was insisting, and I don't know why uh, I answered him. I said uh, to him, okay, I come on in one condition. You never talk to me again about any meeting. I come once in my life for one hour and after I'm gone and you don't talk to me about any meeting. At one point when he was preaching, I saw his aura and it was the brightest aura, the purest, the whitest, the, the cleanest, the more powerful aura I ever seen in my life. And I knew that this was the Ill ultimate power. So I knew that this guy had the ultimate spiritual power and I wanted to get this power. And he preached again and at what moment he said, the people who want to receive the power of God just come over in front. So I jumped in front, you know, I closed my eyes and I was re waiting to receive the ultimate power. Unfortunately, in my mind, I saw Jesus and I saw the cross. So I was, say, I was thinking, I don't want Jesus. I don't want the cross. Just go away. I want the power. So God spoke in my spirit. He told me that I had to accept Jesus and the cross because if I continue the life I'm having now, in six months I'm dead. He showed me the length of time. He showed me how I would die. Because I had this near-death experience, I knew that I was not prepared. I was not ready to die. And I didn't want to be tormented forever. So, almost against my will, I capitulated. I accepted Jesus and the cross. I just did this to save my neck. Now, 30 years later, I am grateful to God because he had to act like this because I wouldn't have a second chance. Maybe you who are listening, maybe you still have 10 years ahead of you, maybe 20, maybe 30. Maybe you already, already had a chance with God and maybe God will give you a second chance, maybe a third chance. But in my case, this was, this was my first and last chance. And God, I am grateful that God saved me in spite of me. He found a way to save me because he knew that I was, in six months, I would be buried. My body would go back to the dust and my spirit would go back to him. And I was not ready to die. So I am very grateful to him now to be saved. I am not afraid to die because I know where I am going.